Welcome to Module 4, Lesson 13. Today we'll be learning how to find areas by decomposing rectangles or combining rectangles to form figures. We are learning this so that we can use area models to apply properties of multiplication. And we'll know that we're successful when we can decompose into smaller rectangles to find total area. Be sure to stay to the end of the video so that you can complete your practice read, draw, write question. Let's get started. Before we begin, what is decomposing? To decompose means to break apart. To find area, we must have a rectangle with a length and a width. If a figure is not a rectangle, it must be decomposed before we can find area. This is a rectangle because it has parallel sides that are equal. So this side is 5 centimeters and this side is 5 centimeters. This side is 4 centimeters and the opposite side is also 4 centimeters, making this a rectangle. Down here, we do not have a rectangle because we don't have 4 sides with the opposite sides being equal. Let's decompose or break apart the figure to find the area. The first thing we need to do is try to find two rectangles. Now we have options. Here we broke it apart into this red rectangle and a blue rectangle below. We could have also broken it apart this way. We could have said this is a rectangle and this is a rectangle. So you get to choose how you decompose as long as you're working with two rectangles. We know that the area of the red rectangle is four square units because we have two on this side and two on top and two times two equals four. We know that the area of the blue rectangle is eight square units because we have four along this side and two along this side and four times two equals eight. So what is the area of the whole figure or the combined figure? The area would be 12 square units. We know this because 4 square units plus 8 square units equals 12 square units. Next, we will subtract the area of the rectangle to find the area of the larger figure. So the whole area model is the outside rectangle. The outside rectangle is 6 by 6, and 6 times 6 equals 36. So that's the whole thing. We want to know how much is in the gray area, but the gray area is not a rectangle, so we can't easily find the area of the gray part. However, we can find the area of this rectangle. 
which is 2 centimeters by 4 centimeters. So the whole area is 36 square centimeters. The area of the blue enclosed rectangle is 8 square centimeters. So how can we find the area of this gray shaded part? Well, we can look at the difference. What is 36 minus 8? Thirty-six minus eight is twenty-eight. So we can say the area of the shaded part must be twenty-eight square centimeters because thirty-six centimeters minus eight centimeters is twenty-eight centimeters. To find area using subtraction, we must know the side lengths of both figures. If a figure is missing side lengths, we can subtract to find the unknown lengths. Let's find the unknown side lengths. Remember that opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. So we know that this side is 11 feet. We know that this part right here is 4 feet. We don't know this length. We don't know this length. We do know that this length is 5 feet. We do not know this length. We know that the length of the right side is 9 feet because it's now labeled. So how can we use this information to find this length, which would be equal to this length? We can subtract and find the difference. We would subtract 4 feet from 9 feet to find this number which is the same as this number. So if this part is 4 feet and the whole thing is 9 feet, what is the difference between 9 feet and 4 feet? The answer is 5 feet. 9 minus 4 is 5. So if this part is 5 feet, then the opposite side must also be 5 feet. We know that the length of the top side is 11 feet. So how can we use this information to find this unknown? Well, this side must equal the opposite side. So if this part is 5 feet and the whole length is 11 feet, then we need to find the difference between 11 feet and 5 feet. What's 11 minus 5? 11 minus 5 is 6. So if this length is 6 feet, then the opposite side must also be 6 feet. So now we know that this unknown is 6, 
And this unknown is 5. Now we know all of the side lengths, we can find the area of the unshaded part and the area of the whole shape. The whole area is 11 times 9, and the unshaded area, this area, is 6 times 5. So if we find 11 times 9 and subtract 6 times 5, then we would know the area of the gray shaded part. Eleven times nine equals ninety-nine, and six times five equals thirty. What is the difference between ninety-nine and thirty? Subtract the area of the unshaded part from the area of the whole shape. Ninety-nine minus thirty equals sixty-nine. So the area of the shaded part is 69 square feet because 99 minus 30 equals 69. Okay, it's your turn to practice using the read, draw, write question. We'll read the question together and then you will find the answer and write your sentence on your own. When you're certain of the answer, look in the description box below to check your answer to, against the correct answer. The shaded figure is made up of rectangle A and rectangle B together. Find the area of each rectangle then solve for the total area of the shaded figure. So you'll find the area of rectangle A, then you'll find the area of rectangle B. When you add the area of rectangle A plus B together, you'll get the area of the shaded figure. Go ahead and pause the video here. Do your very best work. Check your answer against the description box answer, and I'll see you in the next lesson.